of how I would teach Jean Michel to children. So I think I would probably teach this to six or seven year olds. I think they would really understand the concept that I'm going to bring up of abstract art. Um, so anyway, get to it. I'll make this short. So I would obviously want visual aids when I'm, you know, bringing this up with children. I want them to be able to see and touch um, the materials, the tools, as well as like the physical art. So I would bring in um, you know, oil paints and uh, I wouldn't bring spray paint in. That seems a bit dangerous unless we're outside and also probably not a, a good idea. Uh, but crayons and, you know, oil sticks and, you know, I bring in, absolutely bring in magazine clippings and newspaper clippings, which is why he often used, um, as well as just the tools that he used, paintbrushes and also, you know, highlighting that he used his hands a lot as well. Um, and that really he used a lot of found objects as well, things that he would find on the street, you know, wood, other things like that. And then I want to be able to display his actual physical art, being able to show what this looks like, what it looks like, um, without going into the concept of abstract art at the beginning. So being able to bring up books like this that have like the actual um, physical work inside of them so he could highlight how spectacular, but then also how unique and interesting. And I think a lot of children can relate to how he draws. Um, and so I, 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 I definitely want to bring physical things in like that. Um, and then I'd love to ask them, like to ask them what kind of art they think that Jean-Michel is creating. Um, curious if any of them know the word abstract or if they had their own words, their own verbiage to use with that. I think it'd be really interesting. And then I bring up abstract art, obviously, and I would say that um, I'd actually give the, I would like to give the definition as well. So I'd be, I, the definition, I'm gonna read it. The definition is existing in thought or as an idea, but not having physical, a physical or concrete existence. Um, and so I would ask them then, like now, um, knowing the definition, what, what about Jean-Michel's work can be described as like, what is the concept behind it? Um, or rather, let me rephrase that because I think that was a bit confusing. Um, why is Jean-Michel's work uh, described as, you know, abstract, now knowing the definition, um, now knowing like what it actually means? Um, and then I would mention that many people thought that his, <laughs> some people didn't get him, they didn't. They thought that his work was scribbles, that it was ugly, that it was unimpressive, that it was pretty basic and something that a child could do. And I'd love to know, um, you know, I'd love to know, or rather I may even just point it as a phrase, just saying like, wouldn't you say that the scribbles can be beautiful, especially when you're creating your own story, that it's all your own? Um, have you ever thought that your scribbles are unimportant or something like that? Just bringing up um, what abstract art really looks like and how it's very, um, accessible. It's not something that's very rigid like other forms of art. Um, and then I would like to move into like creating our own. So like that is going to be a huge highlight and a huge portion of the lesson would be creating their own abstract made up art. Um, being able to create what they're feeling right then in that moment because that's honestly what Jean-Michel did most of the time. He just immersed himself in the feeling of creating and the feeling of living and then created from that from that place. And so I'd love to know, um, yeah, how, how, what they would come up with. I'd obviously give them all the materials, all these different kinds, no templates, no nothing like that, just feeling and creating, which I mean, if someone had given me the permission to do that when I was a kid, I would have loved it. So that is um, my lesson.